He was on the road to Damascus to persecute Jews. Persecute. Sorry, Christians. Christians. Persecute Christians where? Well. In Damascus. He'd received letters from the priests and he was going did to they Damascus. Have authority? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. They were the Sanhedrin. Do you even know who the Sanhedrin yeah, are? Who were the Pharisees. Sanhedrin? No, they weren't Pharisees. You see, you don't know what you're talking about, Hamza. So, did Jesus send the Spirit of Truth? No, of course not. So therefore, what you're saying is that this is a Muhammad. No, 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 no. There you go. Look, look, it is a Muhammad. Multiple points. We're sticking to the same point. We're, We're sticking, sticking to, to this, this passage. Verse, this verse, and I'm saying any person who's trying to understand this and talking about step by step. You're not any person. Let's, let's finish the point. He, the Spirit of Truth. How could you possibly understand that as like a uh, the the angel Jibril just being inside? No, it's not of you. the angel Jibril. So you just said the we don't, of truth Yes, we be don't believe everything. the angel. No. But how would you say that? Even listen. You, you, didn't you, listen. you didn't even listen. You didn't even listen. You didn't even listen. You didn't even listen. Firstly, error number one. Ahmed is not in this passage. And you said it was. That was your first right. Error number two. Error number two. The, the, the spirit of truth is actually identified in this passage as the Holy Spirit. And error number three, so error number three, spirit spirit error, no, you said that, I disagree. You, error number three, no. the uh, Holy Spirit in, in Islam is the angel Gabriel, not Muhammad. Come, error number four, error number four, Jesus says he sends the spirit of truth. Muslims say that Jesus didn't send Muhammad. Error number five, Muslims say that the spirit of truth doesn't guide people to worship Jesus. The text says that he does. Error number six, Muslims say that this is a reference to Muhammad, but it says that the Spirit is sent in the name of Jesus. Error number seven, Muslims say that this is Muhammad, and it says that, a Muslim say, that, that, sorry, this text says that Jesus is the one, uh, that the Spirit will be with the apostles and known to the apostles and inside the apostles. The problem is, bro, is you've taken one tiny verse and one tiny phrase within the verse yeah. and then without studying the verse in its context in its chapter or in its pericote what you've done is listening to the filthy lies of your dai you've repeated it you have repeated it you've repeated it like a parrot to me and you have not read the passage and every time i've asked you to be consistent in your use of the penumatiz alartheos the spirit of truth the text contradicts you because when the text says we don't need the, for the Greek, we all understand what the spirit. No, you don't know. Yeah, but that's the point. Are you going to go? You don't know. Then you need to go. Then you then. I'll talk to you later. We all understand what that means. That's yeah. Point. So you've got a different understanding. That's the whole point. That's yes. The whole argument. Because mine's based on the text, and yours is based on lies you've been told. So we're not going anywhere with this. But the problem is, Mohammed. The way you're interpreting the text is completely different. No, it isn't. You have not shown me in this text, show me in the text from 14 to 15 that that is Mohammed. What says that that is Mohammed? I mean, like I said, I'm going back to the same verse. Which yeah, is this one, yeah. the 12, 16, 12. Just for the next time you repeat this mumbo jumbo. Where, where does it say Mohammed there? Re -read it. Well, hold on. I exactly. have many more. Well, no, where's Mohammed? No, it's down here. It's down he, here. What is it? You he pointed he to the wrong. You weren't even truth. reading. It's verse 12. You pointed up here. It's verse 12. Yeah, you sorry. didn't even read it properly. You're not even bothering to read it, bro. Yeah, You're just embarrassing <laughs> yourself on camera. His own initiative, but it will disclose to you that it's to come. What gives you. What, 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 what's, where's Mohammed in that? That's not Mohammed. Who is it referring to? It's talking about the Holy Spirit. We're just going back and forth on the same. So, point. where's Mohammed then? Show me, show me where's Mohammed here. Okay. Show me where's Muhammad. That's the only verse I know that. Right, and my, and my point to you is the reason, right, so I've demonstrated and, and everyone else can make their mind up. Yeah. I, I think you're stuck in a dai lie, you're going to repeat that until you're dead, fine. <laughs> Stubborn hearts can't be changed, the glass yeah. that's full can't have anything Fair added enough. to it. Yeah. But my point to you is, bro, here's the problem, is if you can't show me where Muhammad is prophesied in the Injil, then your Quran has an error in it. Because the Quran states that the Injil prophesies Muhammad. You can't find Muhammad in the Injil, and so your Quran has an error in it, and that shows that your Quran is not from Allah. So I challenge you now, show me show me where show me where show me where Muhammad is in the Injil. Show me.
probably changed Show me. last night, but the Quran definitely is 100% correct. No, it isn't. And he says something, the Bible has been changed but throughout time. Catchphrases. Maybe the original Bible's probably been lost. Catchphrases. So Catchphrases. Where's, where's your proof that this Injil existed? It didn't exist. Where? God did say, Prove it. Because God did give Prove Jesus it. a book. Prove it. For the Prove it. Where's your evidence? Well, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm asking again. Why you got Siraj, three persons, Siraj. but the God of okay, Jesus we'll is only just one go person? Find some and talk Why to them. your God is three persons, but the God of Jesus is only one person? Siraj, no, no, I'm Siraj, sorry. Siraj, leave. I'm sorry. Well, Siraj, Siraj, you're interrupting a conversation. You said there is Siraj, I'm not talking to you, Siraj. Heaven. Have you, you have brought all in So your where is your That's prophecy right. of so Muhammad in the angel? Where's your proof that the angel existed? must have been an original. Where? Where? Catchphrases. Catchphrases. Bro. Over time. Catch phrases. Show me where the original Indian was. Yes. What is your evidence? What is your evidence? You have, the you have the original The Quran is making a false claim. Show me the Quran is making a false claim. Where is Muhammad in the Indian? Where is Muhammad in the Indian? Oh, he's gone. Right, follow me, Siraj. Follow me. Follow me, Siraj. How are you doing, guys? Chapter 29. How are you doing? You're right. Chapter 19, yeah, verse 29. How are you doing? Hey, sorry. He's, go, you doing? he's got 100 wives. Oh, follow me, Siraj. Follow me. Have a nice day, guys. Where's Hamza? Tested by scientists as being, as being, See, like, as being, like, coward. Like, so right, go away. Go, coward, you go, go away, the so wise right. in your heaven. We're trying, you we're having a conversation, so right, go away. 100, 100, 100, he's, he's, he's got 100, I'm here to fight you with 4,000. Do you want yeah, to? No, I'm, I'm, I'm with him. Go, go, go. The miracle of heat? No, he's not go. The miracle? Eucharistic miracles. Eucharistic miracles. Okay. Do you mind if I join in? Thanks so much, brother. Thanks, Siraj. Thanks, Siraj. Bye. <laughs> this brother said I can join the conversation. Bye, Siraj. Essentially, miracle of so, so science, modern scientists, they weren't told about what it was. They, they were given samples of molecules from the miracle of Lanciano, from the Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano to test it and investigate it. They found that it was, I think it's AB positive blood, Yeah. which is a very rare blood type. Right. That's one thing. The other thing that found is that the blood, which was which was on which was on the cardiac tissue, would would continuously clot and unclot itself in a way that they couldn't explain. And so there's all these investigations that happened. They were, they didn't know what it was, and then they got to what it was afterwards. And so there's that is one example of numerous situations where this has happened. Because it's been investigated by by peer reviewed. And what's this original sin? So original sin is the result of the fall of Adam and Eve. Um, as a result of rebellion against God, God by eating fruits of trees. Where did Jesus teach this? Does Jesus have to teach it? Wait, wait a second, because can, can I just can I just point out because he I was just, I'm having I was invited to join the conversation, why didn't you? Yes I was, was I? Did you invite was him I invite? to this conversation? I didn't invite him to the conversation. Did you invite him? Yes, you said I could join. Uh, he asked and I said yeah. I'll tell yeah. him he can't join this conversation. No, I don't, he does he doesn't control okay. this conversation. Yeah. He doesn't control you, this conversation. I don't need to. Go, oh, go and invite Siraj. Any, any, uh, no, you won't. You'll run. Like you are now. Oh. Like you run. I see, because the point is... The, the point is, bro. They want relevance, you see. Yeah. They, they want relevance. The point, why are you trembling? They, they want to Relax. be like, you know, uh, recognise and have some status. Brother. They're bullying little kids in the park. Brother. Yeah. You, you, it's, Nobody it's, wants it's, to talk to him. Projection. Nobody wants to talk to him. Yeah, yeah, you are projecting. Nobody wants to talk to him. I don't come. I come here once a month, if not. I've been here for three months. Hamza, can you show me the Salado in the Quran? I've had a conversation with this geezer, right? Can you... can can He's, but, brother, um, can I just point some out to you, right? Because he's using a, a, a false double standard here. No, no, no. He's no. saying to you, listen, 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 brother, brother, focus. He's he's saying to you 
that anything you believe, you've got to show it in Jesus' own words. But the point is, if you ask him to show us very clearly the Shahada in the Quran, where Allah says you've got to say this exact formula to become a Muslim, he can't. If you ask him to ask show him you, to show you, show you. No, but my point is, there's double standard that he's created. Come back to this. Yeah. Right, so but, but the point so is, so, so don't. So, no, you don't. You, no, it's a false logic. So it's a false logic he's using. It's a false logic he's using. So Jesus but didn't teach original sin. Is that what you said? It's a false logic. He doesn't have to. So he doesn't. No, he didn't have to explicitly say it. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, uh, okay. And so who did? The apostle Paul. All right. And why do you believe Paul is a reliable source of information? Because, because he was accredited by the yeah. apostles. Accredited in what way? They had fellowship with him. Yeah. They had fellowship okay. and the council of Jerusalem. Why did they tell him to take the Lazarus right now? Because they were threatened God. with death. Yes. And and why did they did, tell him to they take still the Lazarus right as a protection. For what reason? A, protection from what? The protection from because he was going to go and speak in front of the Jews and he was going to get killed. It was because he was falsely accused of teaching people to abandon the law of Moses. Okay. And the point is he didn't because Mo Paul had Timothy circumcised. Paul had Timothy okay. circumcised. So what, why, why was he told to take the Nazarite vow? Why was he told to take the Nazarite vow? Why was he told to take Because he was a Jew and a Jew can take the Nazarite vow. You can take the Nazarite vow. Why was he told to? To show that he was faithful to, to the Jewish law. And why, what, 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 what was the Jews from killing? Why, why, why would they pension? think? Why would they think he, he needed to take the Nazarite back? Because so we just put it up. Shall we just go to the passage? Yeah. What was Paul doing? What was Paul doing? Because well, they were listening danger. to the Pharisees, and the Pharisees were leading. It was a lie and a slur against Paul, Hamza. Oh, no, okay. It was so a lie and a slur Paul against Paul, Hamza. So the, the it was a lie and a slur against Paul. Yes, an accusation. I want to hear what you're saying. So yeah. the accusation against Paul... So just don't let him dominate. Bro. So the accusation against Paul was that he was teaching Jews they're no longer justified by the law. That was the accusation. And he was told to Nathan the Nazarite vow that there's no truth in what they're saying, that you, you, do, you are a religion. Yes. So that's why he was told to do this thing. Now, was Paul teaching Jews that were no longer justified by the law? He was teaching. Are you talking about Galatians and Ephesians? Who was he talking to? Was, was, was he talking? Was who, was he, who was he talking to? Was he teaching this? In the letter. That you, you're going to go to. You're going to go to one of three places, aren't you? You're going to go to I Ephesians, to Galatians. The Jews as a Jew, and I preached there. Thank you. No, no, there was, you go. was he teaching Jews they're no longer justified by the law? No, he preached to the Jews as a Jew. So what does a Jew tell a Jew? Was he teaching? You got it right. Jews? Stick to it. Was the same yes. As, the same as yes. What's a Gentile no, no, Jew? no, no. No one said Gentile Jew. They, no, listen, it, listen, it, listen. Well, let me correct myself then. Yourself. Let yeah. me correct myself because he wrote to a Gentile church. Yeah. A Gentile church that followed a pagan religion in which they thought that they had to appease the God of Israel in the same way that they had to appease their own pagan gods through votive offerings. And so what they did in, in essence was a, a kind of paganized Judaism. The thought that we have to do these sort of works of the law to associate the God of Israel and yeah, cobblers. And he's and Paul. So he wasn't speaking no, 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 no. Yes, he wasn't. He was speaking to no, Gentiles. He, wasn't, he, wasn't speaking to he was speaking to Gentiles. So you've been lying all this time, haven't you, Hamza? You've been lying all this time. All this time, you've been so lying to people, haven't you, Hamza? So when he's speaking to those under the law, who's he talking to? He's talking to these he's Gentiles. He was talking to these Gentiles who thought themselves under the law because a party of Jews had come from I, Jerusalem I, I, I and taught them that they have to Judaize. Shall we pull it up? Ironic, we've got our So, all you guys that don't film, you're all filming now. Sorry, no problem. I was having a conversation about this earlier because it seems like yeah. when it comes to like pagan tradition, you've got two sides of pagan tradition against Christianity. You've got the one side which is Islam, the rabbinic Judaism, yeah. which is paganism in that in that it goes, it's it's a it's a resistance to the truth. It's like it's like polytheism is like so just so I multiple gods that can become incarnated multiple times. And yeah, can possess the bodies like Di Dionysus was believed to in possess drunk people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, yeah. Uh, and Dionysus. then there's and then there's Islam and Judaism which believes that there can be no incarnation. Well, but the point is they do have incarnation in their Quran if you know it because right. the Quran right. states so the Quran one states thing. one second. So the Quran states Quran that Allah head. that Allah does appear in the burning bush. No, but I mean like yeah. rabbinic Judaism and also. So the Quran there's, itself there's is been, an example of incarnation. There's been this ray, which has yeah. been ex which has been inserted over time of opinions which yeah. are not in the Quran. So in Galatians, your claim is this that Paul's preaching to Gentiles. Yeah, yeah he's preaching to Gentiles. Okay. Yeah. For all who rely on the works of the law. Passage, please. Chapter. 
Chapter and verse, please. Oh, Chapter oh, and verse. I already told you. Which one was it, please? Galatians 3.10. Galatians 3.10. All who rely yep. on the works of the law yes. are under a curse, as it is written. Curse to everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Yep. Clearly, no one who relies on the law is justified. No one who relies on the righteous, no one who relies on the law is justified before God because the righteous will live by faith. The law is not based on faith. On the contrary, it says the person who does these things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Now, when when, when Paul says Christ redeemed us, Paul is a Jew. Yeah? So but Christ, who's the us? So, so, the us is the church. The us is the church. No, he's speaking to those under the law. No, the, the, under the, no, law. the us is the church. Okay, it starts off. The us is the church. The Stop lying, Hamza. Oh, oh, okay, the us is the church. I'll say it again to you. I just read it in chapter 10. Yes. He's talking to those who rely on the works of the law. Who relies on the works of the law? The Galatian yes, church was relying no, on the no, no, works no, no, of the law. No, you're lying. Me, you're lying. It is I'm a Jewish... The, you said the Bible no, 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 because you're reading yeah, Galatians right. out of context. All who rely on the works of the law. You're reading Galatians out of context. So he's referring to them. And then Paul says, clearly no one who relies on the law is justified before God. Yeah? Okay. Then he says the law is not based on faith. We did that, but uh, where was we up to? Um, he redeemed us in order, oh yeah, sorry. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. So the law now becomes a curse, yeah? By becoming a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of spirit. Brothers and sisters, let me take an example from everyday life. Just as no one can set aside or add to human covenant that is duly established, so it is this case. The promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. Scripture does not say and to seeds, meaning many people, yep. but you and to your seed, meaning one person, who is Christ. What I mean is the law introduced 400 years later does not set aside the covenant previously established by God and thus do away with the promise. For if the inheritance depends on the law, then it no longer depends on the promise. For God in his grace gave it to Abraham through a promise. Why then was the law given at all? It was added because of transgressions until the seed to whom the promise referred had come. The law was given through angels and entrusted to a mediator. A mediator, however, implies more than one party, but God is one. Is the law therefore opposed to the promises of God? Absolutely not. For if a law had been given that could impart life, then righteousness would certainly have been by the law. But scripture has locked up everything under the control of sin, so that what was promised being given through faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Yeah. Before the coming of faith, we were held in custody under the law, locked up until the faith that was to come would be revealed. So the law was our guardian until Christ came, that we might be justified by faith. Now that the faith has come, we are no longer under a guardian. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself in Christ. There is neither a Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male or female, for all you are one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. Clearly teaching the law now is no longer, you're no longer justified by the law, which was the accusation that the Jews in Jerusalem were putting on Paul. That you are teaching Jews who live amongst the Gentiles, they're no longer justified by the law. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Which then Hamza, sorry. explains... Hamza, sorry. Hamza, Hamza. I have to go slow Which because then, I can't keep up with it. Fair enough. Hamza, well, Hamza, one second. Which because part did you not Hamza, understand? Hamza, Hamza, sorry. Can I jump in, bro? Because he's, 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 he's trying to bamboozle you. He does this a lot. So, okay, Hamza... by bamboozling, all yeah, I can read your scripture. Yes, exactly. How and then, but, but the point is, what you is what you ignored to mention... I'm going to explain to you now. What you ignored what? is that the church in... The church in Galatia was a Gentile church. Was the Jews in Galatia? Yes, and this is the problem. No, no, no. But the, the, but the point is, the Gentile church in Galatia was Judaizing. And that's what Paul is writing against. Now, this isn't just my opinion. This is the opinion of every biblical scholar that's ever read Galatians. Does Paul include yeah. himself? One second, one second. And when he says us, he's referring to the people of the new covenant. That includes Him. Jews. That includes yeah. Jews and Gentiles. Does the new covenant get and away so, with the And so when the new covenant is established, when the new covenant is established, the, the law of the old covenant is taken and transformed. It is filtered through the new covenant. Okay. The old covenant, as you well know, the Mosaic covenant was between God and Israel. The new okay. covenant in Jeremiah 31 is not going to be like the Mosaic Paul covenant. Jews. They no longer know the law. He was I've already meant I've answered that yeah, question. Okay. He was speaking to Gentiles. No, it wasn't. Gentiles who were Judaizers. I'm Gentiles, sorry. Gentiles, but what he to ask Hamza, he Hamza, to Hamza, Hamza, you might be able to uh, Hamza, you might be able to fool the fanboys. But the point is, every single scholar that's ever read Galatians says that Paul is writing 
into a Gentile church. The only people, the only people that believe Hamza are people that listen to Hamza. Well, any any biblical scholar, any biblical scholar, any biblical That's scholar, any biblical scholar says Galatians is to a Gentile church. N.T. Wright, N.T. Wright, do you even know who N.T. Wright? Do you ever know? Because, let me finish, let me finish. No, you have to show me. Let me finish, let me finish, right? For instance, N.T. Wright, N.T. Wright, okay, N.T. Wright, who is a biblical scholar, says that Galatians is written to a Gentile show church. Me, show me where Dr. Those James Gentile White, is. who is a biblical scholar, says that Galatians is written to show a me. Gentile church. Dr. Bart Ehrman says that, Je that Galatians is written to a Gentile church. Dr. Metzger says that Galatians is written to a Gentile church. So you've got all those biblical scholars and then you've got Hamza. <laughs> Who are you going to believe? So now we've okay. established okay. Okay. that no, no. scholarship no, you made a claim. weighs me. against you. Oh, so weighs against you. Weighs against you. We will come to it. We come to it. We will come to it. We will come to it. We will come to it. Why didn't Paul say, I'm not doing that? No, 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 he doesn't need to jump through your hoops. Doesn't need to jump through your hoops. No, why didn't, why didn't, why didn't Muhammad in the Quran say pray five times a day? Why didn't Muhammad in the Quran give you an actual shahada? Why didn't he? Why didn't he? No, my point is that Hamza is working to a false standard. A standard that he demands of the Bible that can't apply himself to his own holy book. Do you see my point? Why was on the road to Damascus? Do you see my point, bro? Why was Paul on the road to Damascus? So he's working he's working to a double standard. Why is Paul on the road to Damascus? Remind me that. Why was he on the road to Damascus? He was on the road to Damascus to persecute Jews. Sorry, Christians. Persecute Christians where? In Damascus. He'd received letters from the priests and he was going did to they Damascus. Have yes, they did. No, they didn't. They were the Sanhedrin. Do you even know who the Sanhedrin yeah, are? Sanhedrin who were the Pharisees. Sanhedrin? No, they weren't Pharisees. You see, you don't know what you're talking about, Hamza. You know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. What's the Sanhedrin? So, so the Sanhedrin. The Sa uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Right, I'm just gonna demonstrate how little Hamza actually knows. You all heard him. He's on camera, but I'm sure the Muslim will edit out this bit. Hamza said the Sanhedrin are the Pharisees. That was a lie. Do you even know who the Sanhedrin are? Yeah, who were the Sanhedrin? No, they weren't Pharisees. You see, you don't know what you're talking about, Hamza. That's what he no, said. No, he said they were Pharisees. No, Did you hear him? Did you hear him? Did you hear him? Did you hear him? No. I tell you okay. exactly what I right. said. You I said, exactly what I right, said. and you're wrong. I tell you exactly what I right. said. You don't even know who the Sanhedrin exactly Who are the Sanhedrin? Who are the Sanhedrin? The Sadducees? Who are the Sadducees? Who were they? Who were they? Sadducees. What were they? Stop shouting at me. You mean like you were shouting just then? Calm down, then. Yeah, calm down. Right. Calm down. Sadducees and the Pharisees. The high priest was a Sadducee. Yes, they represented Rome in Judea. So not Pharisees. Then. I said Pharisees and Sadducees. You didn't say that. You said yeah. Pharisees. No, I said Sadducees and Pharisees. Okay, tell me what the Sanhedrin did. Uh, okay. Can you listen okay. to him, man? So, no, 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 hold on one second. So we know, no, we know, he's interrupting. Know, he's not listening. No, 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 no I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. And you started doing this mock. Right. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Yes, he did, and people heard you. People heard you. People heard you. What's the, what's the Sanhedrin? Okay, so Sanhedrin, what's Sanhedrin is made up of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. What, what, what do they do? What function do they have? What do you mean? Yeah, okay, so let me explain to you because you don't know what you're talking about. The Sanhedrin, the Sanhedrin are the governing authority of the Jewish people. Right. Right. So when the when Paul received letters of commendation, letters of uh, uh, commission to go and persecute the followers of the way from the the, 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 the chief priest, he had the authority to persecute let's, let's the Christians in the synagogue. What authority did the high priest have in, in Damascus? He had authority over the Jewish people. It was the highest court of the Jewish people. What authority? I've just explained. Well, he had no authority. No, he did. You just made it up. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. The difference about. between me and you, Hamza, is I've actually studied. Okay, what's yes, authority? I have actually what studied. Authority? Yes, I'm going to tell in you. A different kingdom, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Because the difference between me and you, Hamza, is I've actually studied Satan Temple have. Judaism, and you're no, 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 no. talking about no, no, no. it. I'll say it again what to you. The Sanhedrin were well, collectively the Sadducees who made legal decisions. Right? They were mainly Sadducees. Yeah. The Sadducees. They were mainly no, Sadducees. Mainly Sadducees. They were mainly Sadducees. Yes. Like they, made, it's, it's they were like, the highest, like the they were highest court. They were the highest court of Jewish authority. They were the highest court of Jewish authority. So when there was a decision to be made, the Sanhedrin was the last port of call. They were the highest authority. They had the final say on what or was not defined as Jewish.
So the reason why Christians were kicked out, the, the reasons why the Christians were kicked out of the synagogues is because of the Sanhedrin. Right, the thing is, Hamza is literally a con man. He literally dupes fanboys that are right around us now and on his own camera because he presents himself as knowing guy something. Two hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're welcome to come on the arena. You're welcome yeah. to come on any yeah. lies, mate. I don't hide from no. I'll debate you. Let's, let's debate then, Hamza. Hamza. I'll debate you next yeah, week. I'll come and let's debate. No, no, I can't debate you here because I'm not here now. Right, we'll debate live. We'll debate live. We'll do a live stream. We'll do a live stream. Grandstanding. I'll debate you live stream. Yeah, we'll do a live stream. I'll debate you on Paul. No problem. Yeah, Paul and Jesus. Let's let's see. Paul and Jesus. Reliability. Well, ultimately, it's got to be Paul and Jesus. They made, the, they made the legal Paul. decisions right, and they, were, they derived that from Mosaic law and from Hellenistic law, right? So they, yeah, they, well, they they, 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 they they did butcher the law. Yeah. The Pharisee, the, the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin, yeah. both contradict Christ yeah. and both contradict Christ's teaching. So they're not a moral authority. They're not. No. Who? Yeah. Because they derived a lot of their laws from. But all, but all I wanted Who? to point out, bro. The Sadducees. Right, the Sadducees, the let me explain who the Sadducees are. The Sadducees are Rome's bitch in Judea. That's who they are. They they they, when the Greeks were in Judea, they represented the Greeks. When the Romans are occupying Judea, they represent the Romans. The Pharisees were with the people, the, the, uh, the Sadducees are with the occupying power. Okay, so for example, this idea that the Pharisees had a problem with Jesus healing on the Sabbath. There's no reason for them to have a problem with Jesus having healing on the Sabbath. But they did. Because they, no, they shouldn't have though. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, because yeah. it's part of their teachings. It's yep. compulsory to save a life on the Sabbath and it's recommended to heal on the Sabbath. Yep. So why the Bible teaches that the Pharisees are promised, I don't know. Because they made their own law this around is, it. This is the first point. They had the human traditions Second that they point. put around if it. If the Pharisees are such this big enemy, why did they warn Jesus of his imminent arrest? Because some Pharisees followed Jesus. Which, which Pharisees? Well, uh, well, the Nic no, not Nicodemus. In the book of Acts, at the Council of Jerusalem, it mentions the party of the Pharisees. So we do know that there were Pharisees who became followers of Jesus. Okay, who who petitioned for the release of John and Peter from the Sanhedrin? Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I'd have to look. Galamiel, at the leader of the Pharisees. Yeah. So the Fair Pharisees enough. petitioned. So here's what here's what here's what you're asking me to accept to believe is true, and we can have this conversation. You're saying Paul was a Pharisee. And yet, it was the Pharisees who petitioned, petitioned for the right-hand men of Jesus to be released, the followers of Jesus. And then now we're supposed to believe, now Paul is going hunting these same men? It makes no sense, first thing. Second thing, contrary to what he says, and he can back it up if he liked, that the high priest in Judea had no authority in Damascus to give Paul any information, any, any, any uh, authorization. It's a different kingdom. It's got nothing to do with Judea. No, you're wrong again. No, no. No, you're you can, wrong. You can, we'll have this conversation. You're wrong. Save the it. Sanhedrin. We'll no, the Sanhedrin were we'll recognised as an authority by Jews. Oh, okay. And the, the king, wait, wait one second, on, Hamza. Go on. Was the Christian movement at the time of Paul a Jewish movement? Yes. Were the Jews? Did the Jews look to the Sanhedrin as an authority in their religion? In Judea, yes. No, no. The, the Sanhedrin were the highest court of all Jews. Okay, did they have authority in another country's, in another country? Authority, if it was recognized by Jews, yes. Um, plus, but does not the king of Damascus have a say in it? Of course the king of Damascus has a say and in it. the king of Damascus... But does, a... Hold on one second. But this is the, this is the goofy kind of argument What's you're the making. the goofy argument? The argument, the goofy argument that you're making is, for instance, right, there are Christians around the world that recognize the Pope as having authority over their lives because he is the Pope, he's the head of their right, church, so? right? The point is that authority is a moral authority, isn't it? So right. authority doesn't necessarily have to be a legal authority well, in the sense, no, it doesn't. No, it, no, it doesn't. Arrest people, then? No, it doesn't. So, so the point is, the point is, when, when Paul, no, when, 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 no, how? Slightly, slightly separate topic. Because like, like, we're, we're talking we're about, about in the we're first we're century. We're talking about Paul going with a legal authority yes. to another country, yes. to and another kingdom, to do what? And to arrest people. To, correct. Correct. He doesn't have that authority. Do you? Can you show me that he didn't? We'll do it. We'll have this conversation. Don't worry. C can you show save me that he didn't? Save it for the show me. Save it for the no, no, no. Show me now. Show no, me now. I will debate. Show me now. No, I will debate. Show me now. Show me now. Show me now. The reliability. Show me now. No, 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 no. Well, no, no. The no, debate no. will be about Paul and Jesus because you go around. No, we won't. No, we'll debate the, the Paul. The debate will be about Paul. They'll do fine. We'll debate Paul. Colors. We'll debate Paul. But it won't be just on the authority of Paul. No, it'll be on Paul's authority. Paul's correlation to Jesus because you've been spreading lies. Like, yeah, you've been you've been spreading lies. Right. Can about I just confirm something with you? What about the pre-Pauline Creed, though? What, sorry? The pre-Pauline Creed. What about it? Which is referenced in Corinthians. Yeah, but what's that got to do with this? Because to find out.
Now yeah. Really well, I mean, the, the thing is, the thing is, Paul, Paul goes with letters to persecute the church. In those synagogues, in those synagogues, those letters of authority are going to be recognized by the Jewish community. Or you, no, don't, you, you can't be so ignorant of scripture, Hamza, that you, you don't do you know that the Jews, you agree the, no, of course not. But you're the, the Jews, you're, do you I agree? Do you agree that your Do you agree that your Quran is contradictory? Do you agree that the Quran is contradictory? Why are you, why are you running from the question? I think why because we're talking about Paul. No, no, no. We're talking about your beliefs. No, no. Hold on my a second. My beliefs are irrelevant. You're working to double standards. My beliefs are irrelevant. You're working to my double standards, and he yeah. might not you're be experienced enough to challenge you. He's I, I answered. I answered He's your question. Running. I spoke your question. I spoke your question. I answered your question. I answered that question. You should have listened. Well, you should have answered. You should. But one second. Argument to say my scripture is the one that should be argued. Disputed yes, okay. that is a weak argument. That is a weak argument, Hamza. I'll explain why it's not. That is a weak argument. No, 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 no. I'll explain why it's not. The thing, the thing is, you've got your microphone. He's, he's holding me to scripture. He's no, saying, and what he's doing, he's you demanding you of you standards for your scripture, scripture that his scripture can't reliable. stand up. His scripture is not My reliable. My scripture has nothing let to do with what you, I'm saying. Let me give you examples nothing. of where the Quran is nothing. unreliable. Okay. The Quran claims that a book called the Injil existed. There's zero evidence for it. The Quran claims that Jesus Christ wasn't crucified. All the evidence shows that Jesus Christ was crucified. The Quran says that there were a bunch of Muslims in the first century who followed a prophet of Isa. There's absolutely no evidence for that at all. The Quran says, the Quran says that the sun sets in a puddle of mud. The sun doesn't say in a puddle of mud. Bye, Hamza. Bye, Hamza. Bye. Notice, when I challenge him about his Quran, he runs away. Hamza's a one-trick pony that only attacks and looks for Christians who can't defend their faith. And when you flip the script and you challenge him about the Quran, he runs just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Coward in the den. Coward in the den. Coward in the den. Here's some more errors of the Quran. The Quran says that a man can't have two hearts. Go and look at called giant twins. They have two hearts. The Quran states, the Quran states that, that there is a wall holding back Gog and Magog. Such a wall has never been found. The Quran states that women have fluid coming from the backbone in the ribs that is part of conception. That's rubbish. The Quran states in embryology that the bones come before flesh. That's an error. The Quran states that the sun and the moon can't eclipse. That's an error. Error, error, error. And ladies and gentlemen, today's interruption of the Dawa was brought to you by Siraj and Sam Dawa right there. Every time they interrupt me, I will interrupt the Dawa. Of, of uh, because the, my, my issue is, is, is it's easy to see the If I spend all my time talking to you. about no, 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 stuff when to do with the Quran, they shouldn't talk to you. If I spend all my time talking about your scripture, you have no answers for Islam. Islam is false. That's why you don't have it. When you know you know there's exact same holes in the scripture, why don't you answer about Islam? You're not normal. It's a, it's a double. It's a double standard. The way you vote the Quran, it's it's problematic. Because no, no, no. If we were discussing Islam. Okay. You're if close, we were discussing that, you're closer to being a Christian than a Muslim no, no, no. because you're spending more time no? focused on my you have to you talk to yeah. I'll explain what I'm doing. Brother, do you want to come with us? Because the, the right now, what you're doing is you're feeding his Dawa channel. I'll explain for yeah. you. You're feeding his Dawa channel. My channel's not filming. Yeah. I'm not interested in, in, in the video. I'm interested yeah. in his soul. But, but the That's point is, brother, you've got to understand, right? I, I appreciate, I, I come with the same desire. But, but this, this, this work, this effort of yours would be better spent on the How long have you been doing Dawa? About 10 years.
10 years, right? You've been doing a long time. You're very knowledgeable. You're very rooted yeah. in your faith. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not me sports. Mean. And so, okay, one of the Christians yeah. that come here that are shouting and debate with you, and don't think you're a Muslim, and are pushing you. And you don't How many sects of Islam are going to heaven? Can I ask a question? <laughs> <laughs> question? Talk talk about, there's, there's two no, sides of doing dawah. No, it's not. Why are you going to mosque? The, the reason why I'm, I'm doing this is because some dawah is right there. Okay, yeah. And Siraj, who I'm sure you know. Okay, fair enough. Well, they interrupt me every week. Oh, is it? And because I can't speak a reason with them to demonstrate good manners okay. until he stops interrupting me with his Siraj okay. I'm going to do this okay he you said yeah. he yeah yes him well, what about the lady yeah the lady. she keeps interrupting him yeah well you'd have to speak to her you could do about details, details all day. No, no 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 let me explain why I do what but, I do let me explain why I do what I do but mysticism goes at a base layer of yeah. all of it let me explain what I do right you're entrenched in what you believe is true yeah which is fine me teaching you about Islam and talking about Islam and trying to tell you why Islam is true is, is pointless because you've already got a belief so first thing, I have to crush that. Once I've crushed that, then I can present this one. And then you send that so attempt. That won't work on right, me. Because, brother. Because I've been raised Catholic. I've had my own spiritual experiences. Brother. And I've had a deeper conversion very recently. Brother. So brother. There's no chance brother. that I become Muslim. Brother. No, brother. I don't matter what. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Brother. Doing... But the point is, you know, in his attempt to crush our beliefs, he's going to establish standards that you can then test Islam by. Yeah, more than and I've and I've already done this exercise. I've already done this exercise. And as you saw, like when he said, do you remember? Do you remember what he said? Yeah, yeah, he said, definitely. why do you believe that your Bible is reliable, mm. right? And so I said, well, let's see if the Quran. Do you believe that your Quran's reliable? Do you believe it's free of contradiction? But it's also different because they believe that the Quran it, is divine. It, exactly, and this is the point. Which is so, 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 standard. exactly, and it fails even that higher standard. Because as you notice, when I started challenging him about the errors in the Quran, he walks away. Listen, listen, My point no, to you no, is, no. brother, you are it's literally it's wasting your time right now. Please, I walked away come away with he us. didn't stop. The reason... He wouldn't let me intervene. You, you've been interrupting continuously. Yeah, you've been ignoring you, you, me continuously. This is, this, this I know, you, I mean. you, brother, come, listen to me. what I mean is, you're very knowledgeable, you're very knowledgeable. You'll clash, one of you will move away. And the discussion doesn't continue. No, no, no. Yeah. The, no brother, it's not because we clash and brother. move away. I move away when he grandstands. Yeah. Yeah, because he's saying things which are not true. Yeah, he's calling me a liar. You, you've exactly. grandstand Hamza. Uh, no, you no, grandstand no, no, Hamza. No, 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 no. We've I seen you. Grandstand. Yes, you do. Yes, yes, you do. Somebody, he's right? saying that you grandstand. I don't the, the point is, the, the point is, he's been, brother, he's, he's been doing this. Brother, he, he, he has done this. Honestly, please, come away with us. Trust me. We're going to be leaving. Come and have a meal. Because the thing is, brother, they, they, they do this trick with people all the time, right? And it's about putting pressure on people emotionally and psychologically to bend. Now, I know, men, I know you're not, but the point is, you are not experienced here. You're new in this corner. You've been here five years. He's been here ten years. I'm trying to warn you as a Christian brother to a Christian brother. The, the, the art of manipulation is well versed amongst the Daiyu. Yeah, but, but both of my parents are psychologists. That, 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 brother, brother, right. The, the, what I even, know how what, it works. I know how brother, it works. there are many things I would love to tell you. Right, and, and I would love you to come away so that I can explain some things to you. We're going to be leaving the park soon. I'm inviting you to join us for fellowship. Would you like to come with us? Because we're going to be leaving pretty much now. So would you like to come now with us? Because the thing is, the thing is, brother, right? The art of manipulation that these guys have mastered, and it right works, now. and it works, this, this, right? This is the art, the art of, <laughs> works on someone who's playing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So one of the things, the one of the things that gives me the greatest concern is when a person says it can't happen to them, because the thing is, hubris, pride, as you know, there you go. Pride comes before a fall. Any person that thinks that they can't be influenced is the most susceptible to influence. Oh, no, no, I've been with this before, and I've been. I've yeah. Been, Right. Brother, we're going to be leaving soon. I'm inviting you to come away with us and to come and have fellowship with other Let's Christians. Emails and we yeah. can, uh, Would you like to do that? Because I'm not going to be here now for at least six, seven weeks. Do you want to do that? Do you want to come away with us now? I would like to do both. Right, well, we're going to be going soon. Yeah. I'm simply looking out for you, bro. Yeah. So do you want to come now? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Well, I need my phone. Yeah. Because I learned to the conversation. Yeah, where's your phone, bro? I lent it to somebody who can make a call. Right. Go grab your phone and then come back quickly, because we're going to be going. Come back here quickly. So what happened there?
So, once again, Siraj and Sam Dawa interrupted me, and as promised, each time Siraj and Sam Dawa interrupt me, I am going to interrupt the Dawa until Sam Dawa and Siraj learn some manners. Okay. It is simple as that. And as you saw, as you saw, Hamza, Hamza is a trademan of trying to dominate conversations. The whole of the Dayi, they look for people who can be um, who can be manipulated? That that, that 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 that's that's that is their game. If you're a Christian, even a well-meaning Christian like that brother who comes down here thinking I'm going to try and save his soul, don't be so naive, right? Come and hang out with the Christians. Stop feeding the dawa channels the cannon fodder, right? Like, if these Muslims who do Da'i down here and Dawa down here won't face the Christians that can actually challenge them, as you just saw with Hamza, right? Why, why do you think that you're going to be able to do better? My advice to you, my brothers and sisters, is stop feeding the Dawa channels. Come and hang out with the Christians. Let us help you. Let us support you. Let us teach you the right apologetics and the, the right polemics. Okay? And, and the... Here, bro. So do you think, do you reckon Hans is going to debate you? They're, they're trying to get him to go back. Bro, here. Noah. 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 Yeah. So what do you reckon, bro? Is, so, he gonna, so, is he going to debate you or not? I don't know if Hamza will debate me about whether we can trust Paul. Right? But, but, but that's the debate we're going to have. Okay. Can we trust Paul? Like, like what is the authority of Paul? Okay, and we'll see if we'll see if Hamza will do the live stream, okay. and we'll get someone to do a, a, a sort Moderate. of timed okay. argument as to why we can trust or not trust Paul. Anyway, Noah. If you give me all the knowledge. I'll... Right, right, Noah. But what I'm saying to you, right, I'm saying to all Christians like you, right, is there is a naivety amongst you to think that people like that can be reached. You're naive. You truly are naive. There are sincere people, like this guy, right? There are sincere Muslims in the park that you can talk to. He's not one of them. All you're doing, he's the, you're exactly the kind of person that he's looking for. Someone who doesn't know all the arguments. Someone who doesn't know his scripts. Yeah, but if he just runs at me, I'm not, not going to take anything. Right, but then what they do is they... with you and he talks to you because he gets views out of it. Yeah, but then he... he no, but, but no, no, you're, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. He then produces a video that says something like... It'll be entitled, like, Christian silenced by the dower. You know, he'll have some kind of title like that. And then, yes, it is clickbait. And what he's doing is it creates a narrative that other people are watching who are maybe less firm in their faith than you, who are then led towards Islam. So my point to you is that but you're not helping them. I was just talking to a guy who's been coming earlier today. He's been coming to Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about the miracle of Lansing. Yeah. About the miracle of Lansing. The, the Our Lady of Zaytun. Yeah. He's taking all of it. Yeah. He's talking about Sufi Islam. Well. Yeah. He's taking all of it. He's yeah. now going to go off and look into it. Yeah, which is great. I'm not saying there aren't sincere Muslims the in the park. The reason why he did that is because he was commenting on my demeanor in other videos. Yeah. But my point is, that I'm not denying that there aren't sincere Muslims in the park. Of course there are. Not He's the not one of them, of Christians either, mate. right? He's not one of them. Neither no, is this no guy, you. this no troll you. here. Like, he's not he's not one of them either. My point to you is, like, you've got to box smart when you come to this park, right? And you, you should listen to people who've been doing this for a number of years. I, I come to this park every single Sunday and have done for five years solid. All right, so I'm not speaking out of naivety. I'm not speaking out of inexperience. I'm, I'm simply trying to help a brother um, when they're dealing with someone who is, you know, essentially, um, uh, in, in an environment that he's used to working and he's used you to making well. these kinds of arguments. You as well. Yeah? well and, and, and like this troll, you know, like whenever he I debate him, he always runs, you know, That's because the, the, the reality is that the reality is that, that this is a real lie. battleground. It's not lie. a playground. It's not a, a place for entertainment. And people are losing their souls here. I'm trying to take a different approach. Right. And what I'm saying, I mean, let's talk more when we go for a drink, you know, right? But, but my point to you is hang with the Christians who are experienced in this park for a bit. 
before you take your appro uh, a different approach and, and learn a bit from us first. And that's my message to any Christian who comes down to this park. Yeah? Scared. Right? Like this guy is scared. I agree with that, but I know a lot of really... So, I've spoken to a lot of really knowledgeable Christians in this park who've been studying art, yeah. where they never talk to never talk to any Muslims because they don't they don't want to get embarrassed. They don't want to right, but, be shown up. But my point to you is then they're not the, they're not the Christians to be talking to, are they? Because we talk to Muslims all the time. Every week I talk to Muslims. Every single week. I was talk I've talked to a whole bunch today. But, but, but like what what I saw, saw earlier was a bunch of gotchas. And I don't I don't I don't agree with that. Because got, gotchas I, don't mean anything. I appreciate that those those gotchas don't mean anything to you, but what you've got to understand is how they're used in the camera. And the thousands that watch it on camera, not everyone is as firm in their faith as you are. And so you've got to be wise about not leading your brother to stumble in his faith, the weaker brother. Do you see what I'm saying? You've got to be, because remember, that's on your soul. And, and the point is, granted, God is not going to hold you responsible for things that you're not aware of. But I'm trying to. Let... I, I am aware of it, and I'm right. weighing up the pros and cons because on the other end, they're filming me having conversations with people, and that's showing a difference to Muslims yeah. who are weaker in faith. I've yeah. never seen a Christian be polite and be and 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 live, try and live the. I mean, no Thank offense, you, bro. No, bro. No offense, bro. And this is the kind of manipulation. This is the kind. Do you see how he's using you right now? He's do you, do you see how he's using you right now, his comment? Which because you made a comment. They've never seen a Christian be polite. Look, of course they have. Look, look, look. Lots of Christians have been polite in this park, right? Islam. But when you're confronted with ignoramuses like this, who are he's rude and, he's you know, behaving in this manner, so right? The, I understand that right. comments are deflected. Yeah. I do understand that. Right. But my point to you is what you said, it would be used by Muslim. Oh, you know, I'm the only polite Christian that a Muslim has ever seen. No, you're not. Are you like polite? how naive of you to think Honestly, that there aren't other are you, polite Christians are you, are you, in this uh, park? Christian when you You're making comments I, I mean, I mean out of naivety. I mean that there's a lot of polite Christians who are knowledgeable messing around who and create hatred talk. amongst people. Yes, but these are not they, that, like the, 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 the thing is there are lots of polite Christians who will engage in polite conversation with Muslims and, 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 and in lots of cases that's often then trolled by people like him. Who behave in this kind of way? Look, Do you know what I'm saying? Because here we are Christians trying to have a conversation and look at his behaviour. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. And, and what they true, what, what they do is they try to manipulate you by applauding you when you say something they like, and then um, what they, they they try to do is they try to then set people that say the things that they like as these are the true Christians, and that's the naivety coming out look, that you don't Jesus understand the politics of the way. Look, that this I, is being done. For me, done. visible. He's yeah? closer to Christ than you. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how, literally, you're seeing an example look, of what I'm talking it's, about it's right so now. It's so visible. It's so visible how aggressive you are. Do you see it? Oh, and so my point is, so? that's what you're doing with Hamza. That's what you're doing with Hamza. And, and my point to you is, Christians who come to the park full of sincere zeal, but they also come with a lot of naivety and they don't understand how no, the park no, works. No, I came here thinking that I haven't been knowledgeable enough that I could have some sort of what, which is prideful in itself. I'm thinking that I can have sort of, some sort of influence purely by myself. Yeah. We don't evangelize people, God evangelizes people. Yeah. He works through us. And someone might hear something today and might go off five years from now, think back on it. You know the good, you know the good news, brother, is that I, I get messages from people who are becoming Christians all the time through the work that I'm doing, including Muslims, including Muslims. That there are Muslims that be, have become Christian this month and have reached out to me to, to say that they've become Christian. So our kind of evangelism is working, and that's why I am saying, if you want to come to this park, please do. But let us help you yeah, to do effective evangelism. Yeah. So my effective point is, before you go and take on like the people yourself, who've got like 10 years like of yourself. experience of debating Christians... To be honest, I came here not knowing necessary. who's knowledgeable and who's, who's, who's not. Yeah. My, my angle was, I want to try first, learn later. Yeah. 
Yeah. And and I'm I'm going off. I'm hearing what the arguments are. I'm going off and learning about them. Yeah. But why not learn with more experienced Christians? Yeah. Now 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 now, now 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 there you go. You've you've seen a perfect example of the kind of behaviour we have to put up with. This trolling, trashy kind of liars. You know, shooting comments. Despite the fact. 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 Yeah. There was a Christian woman assaulting him, pushing up against him, pushing him. When he was just having. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, and 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 the point is, I mean, I don't, I don't know what happened in that situation. I don't know if she was pushed herself or. I'm not saying, I'm saying that's a lot more common. Than Muslims. Muslims are doing that way more than Christians. Yeah. But those Christians that are doing it, I mean, that's on camera. Yeah. Getting a really bad picture. Right, but 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 again, that's naivety because the the reality is that Christians need to be pointed. You know how many Christians have been assaulted in this park by Muslims? That's wrong. like punched, that's stabbed. Wrong. That's wrong. Had the Quran stolen from them, That's and the wrong, Muslims Islam. are all cheering it, this is a lie. including look, him, uh, look, all cheering it, crying out Allahu Akbar, saying it's lie. great. When look, Quran, when lie. Hatun Tash had her Quran look, stole, look. Muslims were I saying it was justified. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm right. When the, uh, I'm not going to shake your hand. Because <laughs> like, like, you're rude. You're rude. No, I'm not. You are lying. Peace in the Middle East. When, when, when you apologize, I'll forgive you. Apologize for what? There you go, exactly. Yeah. So, for instance, he, for example, he, for example, physically assaulted me in this park. Physically? Pushed me in this park. Your, your naivety of focusing on this odd Christian is going to be the thing that Muslims zoom in on on their film. Right? So, you've. you've I like I like that they don't agree the difference. Right. But the point is, bro, this is what I'm saying, you're, you're making statements from your mouth that end up being used as propaganda by the Muslims. Because you don't understand the politics. I am not, I am looking for, I am looking to talk love. Yes. I'm looking to talk to, I'm, to well, I'm looking to talk to the Muslims, but 1% of the Muslims acknowledge it. Right, and what I'm saying to you... trying to... Sh to I, 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 okay, I, I, I'm going to end with this appeal again. Come and hang out with the Christians who do this week in and week out. Please. As much for your own soul and to help protect you as everyone else. Because we have too many naive Christians come here, lone rangers, think they're going to do something amazing, right? And trust me, I've seen it all, right? Lots of them don't achieve anything and then just disappear. And some of them, the really poor ones, they end up losing their soul in this park. That's my final warning to you, and I'm offering it to you to try and encourage you to come to the Christians who do this a lot and let us teach you. Brothers like Paperboy, brothers like Chris, brothers like me, right? And, and learn from us and get involved in what we're doing. Now we're going to go and get uh, something to eat. You're more than welcome to join us. Yeah. Can I take a picture with you, yes, of course, bro. Uh, I'm such a big fan. I'm glad Did to see you today, honestly. Happy Friday.